today for this court workout, all you're going to need is one dumbbell, so make sure you have one handy. We're going to warm up that core first, so arms are straight out in front. We're going to go this way and that way again, working on that range of motion through your core, sitting up nice and straight here. We're going to go this way and that way again this should cause zero pain as you do this and we got two more so we'll go two one and excellent job now we're going to alternate kicking our legs and crossing our arms so we're going to go this way and that way and you know, i want you to look that way and look that way again twist at that core and we're going to go ten nine sit up straight and seven six good work and five four, three, two, one, and let's grab onto those hips, roll them around and around here, and we'll go three, and two, one, and other direction, again, put on a nice big smile, so we're going to work on those cores, we're going to work on those upper abs, those lower abs, side obliques, and we'll go three, two, one, and let's just kind of drop those arms, shake it here from side, Side and five, four, three, two, one. Now I want you to have your wrist kind of like this. We're just going to kind of march, and our arms and our hands are kind of forward. We're rotating and we're marching here. And it's a tough one, but your shoulders should turn and your head should turn with your shoulders, kind of like that bicycle crunch. And we're going to go 10, 9, 8, sit up straight, and 6, 5, four, three, good work, two, one, and let's march those legs, and we'll go five, four, three, two, one, let's get those heart rates up with some jabs right out in front, and we'll go five, four, three, two, one, now with those jabs, we're going to jab this way, and that way, and I want you to turn at those uh, hips, turn your torso, and turn your head, so we're going that way, and that way, and we'll go 10, 9, 8, 7, good work, 6, I know it burns, and 4, 3, 2, two 1, and now let's bounce those legs up and down, and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, hold them up, lift them as high as you can, squeeze your core, really tighten it up here, tighten all your muscles, and we'll go 3, Two, one, bring your legs up like this, and we're gonna go 10, 9, 8, 7, sit up straight, and we'll go 5, 4, 3, 2, two. 1, keep your legs there, we're gonna go out and in here, still sitting up straight, if you need to support yourself, you can, we got 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, keep them out like this, and flutter kick, we got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one, and let's run it out with those legs. We'll go five, four, three, two, one, and excellent job. Now we're gonna go through this single leg bicycle here. So we're going around and around, and we're gonna go five, four, three, two, one, and out there. Like here, we're going around and around. You can kind of claw at the ground if you want to. Again, lift it up and extend. We'll go five. Four, three, two, one, and excellent jab, jumping jacks. We're going out and in, out, in, and we'll go 10, 9, 8, 7, and 6, 5, sit up straight, 3, 2, 1, and now double leg bicycles. Everyone's favorite, sitting up as straight as you can. Hold on to the chair if you need to, but we're going 10, 9, Eight, seven, good work. Six, I know it burns, and we'll go three, two, one, and excellent job. Now we're gonna alternate those crosses here before we stand on up. So we're going this way, that way, this way, that way, and we'll go this way, and that way, and ten, nine, eight, seven, and six, five, four, three. Two, two, one, one. excellent job. Arms are forward. We are going to stand on up. So let's stand up. Make sure you grab onto one of those.
those dumbbells, I will move my chair aside, slightly catch my breath. I can really feel that core working today. I'm going to hold this dumbbell just like this. All about range of motion here. We're going to bend it this way, all the way back. We're doing eight. Pretty side here again, nice and slow. It's all about nice and slow for this one. Make sure your body stays right in line here. We got three more after that. And we're keep it going. We're gonna reach on down. We got two. Bring it back. Left one. And stand up nice and straight. Let's switch it. Other side, you're gonna work in right here. These side obliques. Let's go this way. And that way, again, if this hurts your back whatsoever, just limit your range of motion. These muscles that we're working, these side obliques, really help to support your back. So we want to gradually build up the strength. And we got three. Good work. Two. Nice job. Last one. Excellent work. Now, with this dumbbell, we're going to push it up at an angle, but I want you to slightly bend your knees. We're going to lift it above our head at an angle, so bringing it up right here. Squeeze your core, tighten it up, and we'll go three, two, one. Bring that dumbbell down, stand up. Two more times with this one, lightly squat down. Push it up at that angle. Squeeze your core, and we'll go three, two, one. Bring it on down, stand up, kind of loosen it up a little bit. Squat on down, raising it above our head. Squeeze that core for three, two, one. And excellent job. Let's just march with those legs and we'll go five, four, three, two, one. And excellent job. Now we're gonna just slightly bend those knees again, pushing the dumbbell out and in, out and in. Hold it out now, hold it there. We'll go three, two, one, let's stand up, let's kind of march those legs, bring that dumbbell right close Pickle to your chest, that. and we'll go three, two, one, one more time with this, slightly down, push it out, bring it in, push it out, bring it in, and now hold it out, squeeze your core, squeeze those muscles, and we'll go three, two, one, bring it in, and march those legs, right. and we'll go three, two, one and excellent job. I want you to set down your dumbbell. We will grab it again towards the end, but with the core, with everything with the core, we want to practice our balance today. So right from the side, we're going to activate our core. When we do these, we're going to bring it up and bring it down again. I want you to really focus on squeezing your abs here. So again, raise it up and down. Bringing it up, squeeze your core, bring it down. Bring it up, squeeze your core, bring it down. Bring it up and squeeze that core. Bring it down two more, bring it up and squeeze. Bring it down and one more time, bring it up and squeeze. Hand down and march those legs. Three, two, one, and excellent job with that. I'm gonna switch to the other side. We're gonna do the same thing. Bring it up as we hold it, squeezing those abs. So bring it up, squeeze. Bring it down, bring it up and squeeze and bring it down again. This is gonna help with your balance all around as you squeeze and release. Bring it up and squeeze and release. Four more, bring it up and squeeze and release. Two more here, up and squeeze. Bring it down, now let's really hold it here, hold it up. Squeeze for five, four, three, two, one, and march those legs. Five, four, three, two, one, and making sure you're not too close to your chair because we're gonna alternate and kind of twist here. So that wrist, that wrist. Again, lifting those legs, just slowly twisting. This is working on balance. This is working on your core. This is working on your flexibility through your hip. This will also help loosen up your back, and we're gonna go five, four, good work, and three, palms are up, two, touch those wrists, one, nice little march, five, four, three, two, one, and before we go back down to the chair, I want you to bring those arms like this, we're gonna kind of hook, but I also want you to just slightly rotate as you go through these 
these hooks. So again, you're tightening your core. You have that slight bend in your knee. You're hooking that arm around and around, squeezing your core here. We're gonna go 10, 9, 8, 7. This is also six, great for your upper five, back here, your upper four, core area. Three, and three, two, one more with that left arm, and we'll march for three, two, we're running it out here for three, two, one. Now we're gonna go back down to our chair. We're gonna do a couple more things. We'll grab onto your one single dumbbell. Getting out of breath here, working on this forward. So great job. Now with this, you're gonna bring your dumbbell here. You're gonna bring your opposite hand up here. Now we're gonna bring this elbow down over here. What? So we're going cross, down, bring it across. Down. Down. Bring it across. Down. Down and lift that Cross. weight. Squeeze Down. your core. We got four more here. Three more. Two mm -hmm. more. We got one more mm -hmm. after that. Bring it up and down. Now switch to the other side. Put that dumbbell right there. This hand is up. We're going this way. Bring it down. down. Bring it up. Bring, bring it down. down. These are nice and slow. And control the and tighten those abs. Use those hip flexors. Use those quads. We got two more after that. We got one more here. So we're gonna bring it up and down. And now we're gonna hold this dumbbell. We're gonna lift our feet up just like this. We're gonna press the dumbbell directly at that angle above our head. So let's press it up. Bring it down. Press it up. Bring it down. Press it up, bring it down, down. Now lift it up and hold, hold it, there. it tighten up your abs, maybe run a little bit with those feet, and we'll go three, two, one, bring it down and rest those feet, but let's bring them right back up, up. bring those legs out like this, we're going to flutter kick here, we're just going to hold on to this dumbbell, and if you are able to, I want you to slightly bring it out, it doesn't have to be straight, just slightly bring it out here for those lower Abdominals sit up as straight as you can, and we'll go 10, 9, 8, this is tough, and 6, 5, 4, 3, Three 2, two one. 1, and excellent work with that, and I'm going to set this down, we're just going to kind of shake out those arms a little bit, again, excellent job getting through that, we're going to stretch, and just kind of relax the core here, so we're going to go 3, 2, one holding those arms right here. So a little mini twist. As we go from side to side, we'll go five, four, three, two, one. Let's alternate kicking and touching with their opposite hands. So this way and that way. And we'll go ten, nine, eight, seven. See if you can touch your toe for six, five, four. Three, Three, got it. Two, two last one. one. Excellent job. Now we're going to bring our one leg forward. Reaching down, really stretching out this hamstring here. And fan yourself out because the hard stuff is over. We're holding for three, two, one. Now I should just sit back up. Let's bring this leg right up here, stretching that glute muscle. We'll go three. Two, great work, and one, bring that leg down, other leg is straight out, reach on down, see if you can touch that toe, we'll go three, two, try to keep this leg straight, one, bringing it on back, we'll go right here, and holding that position and stretching, excellent work, and we'll go three, two, one, and I want to stretch those hamstrings again right from that position. So bringing this out, reaching down and touching that toe, and we'll go three, two, one. And I want you to switch to the other side. I want you to reach for that toe. And I want you to notice one thing. I struggle, if you've noticed through other things, I struggle more with this side than my other side because I've had many, many, many more knee surgeries on here. So you might notice some differences in your body, but this is here to correct those spots, and we're going to go three, two, one, and excellent job, we're going to go through a little front crawl here, so we're going to bring our arms around, and around, kind of loop 
finishing up that torso, and we'll go three, two, one, and another direction again, around and around for three, two, one. I want you to stand on up. So arms are straight out in front, and we're gonna go up. We're gonna go to the side. We're gonna go to the back side of the chair. I'm gonna turn my head right here. We're leaning in. Pushing it down, stretching the calf muscle. Again, all parts of our legs are still part of our core. The stronger our legs are, the stronger our abs are as well. And we'll go three, two, one. And let's straighten that leg. Push your heel right on down. And let's stretch as far as we can here. We're going to go three, two, one. And feeling that right there. Stand up nice and slow and switch our feet, we'll push this knee forward, that heel down, we'll go three, really stretch it here, two, push into that chair, one, and bring it on back, straighten that leg, reach out and down, push your heel into the ground and feel the stretch, for three, two, one, and excellent job, standing up nice and slow, bringing those feet way on and back, Pushing your hips back, dropping your head between your shoulders, feeling the stretch behind your legs and in your back. A little three and two and one and excellent job. We're gonna stand on up, we're gonna stretch a little bit more here. So I want you to bring your arms directly above your head. So we're gonna hold them just like this. Bring it above your head. We're gonna stretch from this way. Bring it back, up, stretch this way. Bring it back, again, stand up tall. Bring it to the side, feel the stretch. Stand up tall, other direction. Feel the stretch. Stand up tall one more time each way, going this way and this way. Hold it for three, two, one, and bring those arms down. Let's roll those hips and loosen up the body for three, two, one. Other direction, again, around and around for three, two, one. And let's march those legs and we'll go five, four, three, two, one. And again, excellent job with that workout. Now, I'd love to know in the comments below how these first three sessions are going, if you can feel it. In your core, it's only going to help as I continue to make more and more core workouts. So I'd love to see how you're doing. Comments below. Again, I am out of breath. You should be super proud of yourself for getting through those. That was core workout three.